Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA 21 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player review on this beautiful Monday afternoon. Yes guys, today's content was pretty dead. I still have no flashback cross and uh, we are stuck doing some Prime Icon Moments review, which is not a bad thing. So uh, you can see if they are worth the pickup or not. The first one on the channel is going to be Fernando Yero. And the reason I wanted to do him was because he did get a big time position change to CDM. And honestly, I saw that. Look at the stats on the card, guys. They look fantastic. And I have to try out Fernando Yero. Expect a lot of Prime Icon Moments reviews, especially this week and next week, because I am going on vacation for about a week on Thursday and not coming back to about next Friday. So expect a lot of Prime Icon Moments reviews. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you don't miss anything that uh, I upload or pre upload on the channel. But, anyways, enough of that. We are here to talk about CDM. 92 rated Fernando Giero. Yes, guys, the Spaniard gets himself a position change and it looks fantastic. And today we're going to be testing him out in that midfield and seeing if he's worth playing in that position or should you just uh, move him back to that center back role in game. And yeah, as you've seen on the screen, the stats look fantastic. First, the 74 pace, 75 acceleration, 74 sprint speed. Good enough, in my opinion, I believe. With the shadow chemistry style, I think it'll be even uh, he'll feel even faster man he'll feel his pace will go about to the 82s to 85 range so hopefully he does not feel so slow and he's able to catch up to other players on to the shooting of 72 he has decent shooting but that's not going to be relevant in this review because we are testing his defensive abilities out on to the passing of 80 76 vision eh but he does have really good short passing and long passing so as long as he can get it out of trouble my opponent's pressuring that is all i'm looking forward to from Fernando Giero on to the dribbling of 73 66 agility is the one thing that does worry me on this card hopefully his side to side movement is all right because uh, he's gonna feel a little bit clunky I can already tell but he does have 86 balance and 91 reactions and that is a key stat whenever it comes to intercepting and then the last thing is that 92 composure guys he should be able to make the game winning tackles in today's review onto the defending of 94 94 interceptions 95 defensive awareness and 95 standing tackle if I press circle he should be able to get me the ball back and lastly the physical of 91 guys 99 jumping 91 stamina 91 strength and 89 aggression make this card a rock hard a wall back there in the cd in position and lastly the player trade solid player power header and team player i'm gonna switch up to the icon profile if you want to read it i guess he got this from the 1994 fifa world cup and you love to see that guys they have made a lot of position changes in a lot of different uh, downgrades and upgrades for the icon moment so it's gonna be really fun to use these new cards and the first one today is Fernando Yero expect a Crespo review and Averon very soon on the channel as well but today we are here for Fernando Yero is he worth the million coins is he not we will find out next game number one against some icons as well we got Canavaro, Del Piero, Mbappe in that rare UEL Lucas Moura, I remember I was not going to be able to complete him. He was so expensive, so it's going to be a good test for Yero. This guy has a really good attack, a meta attack, and we're going to see if he can hold up in Division 1. So hopefully it is some good news from Fernando Yero. Alright, come on. First touch forward, Fernando Yero. We're playing in a 4-3-1-2. So he's central CM, man. He is a central CM right there. Play, basically playing CDM. And he's playing the role of Conte, guys. Vamos. Let's see. Can he catch up to Neymar? He can catch up to Neymar. Yes, he can, guys. Oh, my goodness. Hey, that's some promising signs, guys. I know he has low agility, but he was able to catch up to Neymar right there. Great standing tackle right there, guys. Press circle. I'm telling you right now. Just press it. Oh my gosh, he's making the run right there. That is weird because he's medium high. And I do have him stay back while attacking. That's kind of weird. Nice interception right there. I know. What a bad pass. That's the vision right there, guys. 
Vamos. We're testing them right now. There we go. Okay, we got the ball back. That's all that matters. Come on, Fernando Yero. Look at that, man. He's able to catch up to Kylian Mbappe as well. First Neymar, then Mbappe. Guys, you don't have to worry about that agility, man. All right, vamos, dale. Look at that. He's keeping in front of Neymar as well, man. I know that that was an auto switch. I wasn't trying to switch to Cancelo, but, you know, when you have auto switch on FIFA, you're still going to auto switch. Nice. Oh, my goodness. I can't, my team can't pass. Ninety nine jumping. Oh my goodness, he jumped over everybody. All right, guys, we are playing him at center back in the second game of this review. I just wanted to play a second one to see if he is good at uh, that in that position as well. That is his natural position. So this guy has uh, George Best. He has Totti, Ronaldo. So it should be a good test, man. Again, side to side movement on this card is good. You do like you do notice a little bit of the lack of pace, but doesn't matter. He just dribbled right into him. Another beautiful standing tackle by Fernando Yero. Can he lead to a goal though? Can he lead to a goal though? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Goal! Kylian Mbappe finishes off the beautiful goal off that incredible standing tackle by Fernando Yero. That is what you love to see, man. Defense turning into offense. And that is what you're going to get with Yero. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm liking him in both uh, positions, guys. For sure. Well, my opponent rage quit, guys. I think that is going to end the review here. I had to sacrifice Blanc right there. But Fernando Yero, I switched him from that center defensive mid position where Conte was. And put him at center back and he did a fantastic job for the first 20 minutes. You saw two highlights and I am very confident he can play both positions, CDM or center back, zero goals, zero assists. But pass is completed, three out of three, dribbles completed, two out of two. And tackles one are perfection, two out of two. That is what you love to see from the Spaniard guys. And I don't have any more else to say about this during the gameplay portion of the review. So let's go on to the last uh, and final thoughts on this incredible Fernando Yero CDM Moments card. So I don't get how I struggle in the first game against somebody with a 1700 skill rating. And then my second opponent, I made him rage quit in 30 minutes. And he had about 2100 skill points. I have no idea. I just I'm just confused at this point. But what I'm not confused about is the Fernando Yero Prime Moments card. What a fantastic card. And he did the job in the midfielder, midfield and center back for the short time period you saw him there. And I'm very impressed with this card. So let's go into the pros. Number one is gonna be that 91 reactions. Obviously, that is a key stat in a defender, and he is able to react to interceptions and to any defensive opportunities that do arise for him. On to the next pro is going to be that 92 composure i put that because that matters in my opinion i know some people don't care about that but for me 92 composure is a key thing to have in a defender so he can make those game clutch tackles onto and talking about the tackles onto the next pro is going to be that 94 defending then the standing tackle is ridiculous interceptions is ridiculous the awareness is ridiculous everything with fernando yero on the defensive end is crazy so i have to put that as a pro onto the next one is going to be that 91 strength he is strong and that allows you to put a shadow on this card to try to maximize that pace of his onto the next one is going to be that 99 jumping he's going to win every header that comes along his way so that is essential if you're playing him at center back 
or CDM. And now on to the cons. He does have two cons, however. Number one is going to be that 66 agility. You do feel it at times, especially when the gameplay is not cooperating. So be aware of that. And then on to the next con is going to be that 64 dribbling. And the reason I put that is because I know a lot of people, or some people at least that are watching this should be are thinking of whether to play him at center mid. And I would not play him there because of that low dribbling. Stick to CDM or center back. And now on to the Leo tips. I basically spoil that. Uh, play him at CDM with the faster uh, partner next to him that is essential guy somebody with like 79 plus pace like I had Conte next to him and then Gukurela as well those are high pace players that will make up sometimes for the lack of pace on this Fernando Yero card and then the second one he can play center back guys so if you want to switch him from CDM to CB that is perfectly fine in my opinion and the meta rating on this card is going to be a 7.5 out of 10 and then the final is going to be an 8.5 out of 10 I really enjoyed the CDM Fernando Yero card and I'm glad I got to review it. It is. It was a fun review. We did uh, tie the first game and win the second one. So it is a GG on my end. But anyways, I will conclude today's review. Hopefully, it helped you out in deciding whether you want to go pick up this Fernando Yero card or not. And you enjoyed this review. Like I said, guys, expect a lot of Prime Icon moments review on the channel. So please hit that subscribe button. Like this video. It is much appreciated. This is Leo, guys. I bid you goodbye. And good night.